Welcome to our video about symptoms of scalp ringworm in adults. What are the symptoms of scalp ringworm in adults? A mild case usually clears up in 2 to 4 weeks, but more severe cases may take 3 months or more to get rid of. If you suspect you have scalp ringworm, you should thoroughly dry the affected area after any activity. Make sure to wash your hands after playing with pets and sharing uniforms with others. Also, treat other fungal infections if possible. Tinea corporis Symptoms of tinea capitis include a rash, usually an oval or circular one, which is itchy, red, and surrounded by a carrion. This rash may be associated with a rash elsewhere or with tender lymph nodes in the neck. Symptoms of ringworm can be similar to those of other conditions, so you should see a health care provider for a proper diagnosis. Treatments for tinea corporis involve topical antifungals. Be sure to leave a margin of skin around the lesion to avoid spreading the infection to other areas. Topical steroid creams may also be prescribed, but they may make the condition worse. If you have persistent or atypical lesions, you should consult a dermatologist for a proper diagnosis. If the condition has recurred, your doctor will prescribe another antifungal medication. Tinea capitis usually affects children 3 to 7 years of age, but it can also strike adults. It is caused by various fungi, including T. tonsurans, which is easily transferred from person to person. Most people will have no symptoms or only a small rash, but in more serious cases, a mass of pus may develop. The athlete's foot is the most common form of ringworm in humans. Treatment is difficult, and often it does not clear up on its own. Treatment of tinea corporis in adults is complex and requires a multidisciplinary team approach. A multidisciplinary team of healthcare professionals including physicians, dermatologists, nurse specialists, and pharmacists should be consulted to make sure the right treatment is given. The most effective treatment for this condition is the use of oral antifungals such as terbinafine. Moreover, if the root cause of the infection is not identified, it is important to treat the infection to prevent its recurrence. Tinea barbae Adults and children with ringworm on the scalp may also develop tinea barbae, a fungus that causes fava infection. The infection is characterized by matted hair and yellow cup-shaped lesions at the base of the hair. These lesions contain keratin debris and hyphae. Sometimes they coalesce into a large mass and spread to the eyelashes and eyebrows. A mild case of ringworm will clear up within 2 to 4 weeks, a more severe case may require up to 3 months of treatment. While it is possible to treat tinea in adults through antifungal medications, it can recur easily, making it important to follow the correct treatment protocol. Treatments for tinea include proper hygiene, wearing a protective hat, washing uniforms and sports equipment, and washing hands after touching pets. Moreover, you should also treat any other fungal infections that you have. The most common symptoms of scalp ringworm in adults include dandruff and patches of hair loss. In the worst cases, the infection can lead to carrion, a large, painful lesion over the initial ringworm. In some cases, carrion may be associated with other conditions, including a rash elsewhere on the body or tender lymph nodes in the neck. In cases of a carrion, it is best to consult a healthcare professional to make a proper diagnosis. Ringworm can also be caused by an infection on the pet's skin. For dogs, ringworm is often caused by exposure to excessive heat or humidity. It can also be caused by some types of health conditions, such as diabetes and HIV. A physician can diagnose ringworm by looking at your symptoms and asking you about your lifestyle. The doctor may also scrape a small portion of your infected skin to confirm the diagnosis. Minor infections can be treated with OTC antifungal products, while more serious cases require prescription medicine. Tinea barbae in persons with HIV infection Scalp ringworm is often caused by a fungus called tinea barbae. Tinea barbae can be transmitted to humans through hair follicles. Treatment usually involves topical and oral antifungal agents, administered at the same doses and durations as those for tinea capitis. Treatment will take several weeks and requires repeated visits. The symptoms of ringworm are not specific to the scalp but may involve the toes or folds of skin. People living in a warm, moist climate may be more susceptible to skin fungi. People with ringworm on their scalp may also have seborrheic dermatitis or other ailment caused by fungi. Treatments for scalp ringworm include antifungal creams, Whitfield's ointment, or systemic antifungal tablets. 
HIV-infected persons should also take acyclovir tablets, which may help reduce the risk of developing secondary herpes simplex infection. Symptoms of ringworm include hair loss, scaling of the scalp, and itchiness of the skin. Treatment for scalp ringworm should be taken for a few months or longer. If you continue to have the symptoms, consult a doctor or an urgent care center for a proper diagnosis. Healthcare providers can check the area for fungus infection and prescribe stronger medication. The best treatment for tinea barbae in persons with HIV is a topical treatment. Topical antifungal medication is effective in treating the infection, but you should ensure there is an adequate margin around the lesion and that the patient continues treatment even after the rash has cleared. Remedies are generally not long-term, and recurrence is a possible risk. Trauma to the scalp The causes of ringworm on the scalp are often fungi. However, the disease can also occur because of minor skin injuries, too much exposure to humidity and heat, and certain health conditions. Your doctor will likely diagnose the condition through a careful review of your symptoms and lifestyle. A sample of the infected skin may be scraped off to confirm the diagnosis. While OTC antifungal shampoos and topical creams can treat mild infections, they may not be effective for severe scalp ringworm. Symptoms of scalp ringworm in adults usually start as a small pimple on the scalp and gradually get bigger. The infection may lead to temporary baldness. The fungus will get into the hair fibers and cause a scaly, crusty, scaly mass known as carrion. Sometimes, the carrion may be mistaken for impetigo or cellulitis, which is why it's important to see a doctor if you notice ringworm on your scalp. Adults may also develop scalp ringworm if they have had a recent physical injury or fall on their head. In children, it's rare, but it's still possible. In adults, a fungus-producing bacterium is responsible for about 10% of all cases of scalp ringworm. If you have a scalp ringworm on your scalp, you may have a carrion-like swelling on the surface of the scalp that may drain pus. The fungus that causes ringworm on the skin is caused by dead tissue on the scalp. Fungi can live on dead tissue, so if you are constantly scratching your scalp, you may be exposing yourself to it. If you feel your scalp itchiness, consider self-diagnosis using a buoy assistant to find the right treatment. Getting treatment for ringworm is easy once you've got the right prescription. Fungal infection caused by dermatophytes Most cases of ringworm in adults are mild and can be treated with antifungal shampoo, tablets, or topical creams from the pharmacy. However, if ringworm is severe or if there is an infection in the bloodstream, your doctor may suggest an antibiotic treatment. Usually, treatment for ringworm involves a course of oral antifungal medications for a week or two, but some people may require a longer treatment. If your pet is a carrier of fungus, it is important to check for the condition and treat it appropriately. It is important to keep shared areas clean and avoid rubbing the infected area with your hands. Avoid sharing personal items such as towels and hats with pets to prevent ringworm. Rinsing hair thoroughly with a specialized shampoo may also help prevent ringworm on the scalp. Diagnosis of scalp ringworm can be made by scraping the surface skin scales onto a slide and examining them under a microscope. In some cases, a wood lamp may be used to determine the dermatophyte causing the infection. Certain strains of dermatophytes will produce a fluorescent yellow-green ring when observed under a black light. Dermatophyte-related dermatitis DC, may result in a skin-related inflammatory response. Symptoms of dermatophyte infection may be similar to those of eczema. Dermatophyte-related dermatitis is often difficult to distinguish from other rashes that require different treatments. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.